Hi, this is a lecture for ECE 626 at Purdue University. My name is Kiwan Park, and I'm going to talk about maximum likelihood estimation, its properties and examples. So here's our uh, basic setup. So given data D, we have n sample points. And these sample points are uh, in a d-dimensional feature space. And we'll think of this as a n random variables, x sub i, uh, drawn from the same uh, distribution with a known uh, parameter set data. Also assume sub i is drawn from a row set data or equivalently a row of x given data. So this is for a continuous case. Continuous case. And we can uh, also write this as a probability of x given theta for discrete case. So without loss of generality, we're going to use a row of uh, x given theta throughout the lecture. And there's a assumption that um, at each x sub i is independently drawn from the same uh, distribution, so this is called the so-called IID, independently, independent and identically distributed. And next we're going to uh, define likelihood function. We're going to denote uh, likelihood function as a uh, uppercase L. So uh, it's the likelihood function of data given data set D and this is equal to the probability of observing data set D given the parameter set theta. Now goal is to estimate Data hat sub ml that maximizes the likelihood function. Given the data set D. And this will be equivalent to uh, maximizing the probability of observing data D given the set of parameters. So in more uh, mathematical notation then I had M sub L is equal to org max of theta likelihood of theta given D. We can write this as org max of theta of probability of theta set D given theta.
also we can rewrite this as argmax of row of x sub 1, x sub 2, and x sub n. So this is a probability of uh, getting a n samples x sub n, 1, x sub 2, to a, all the way to a x sub n given theta. So we, we have this uh, independence assumption earlier. So using that independence assumption, I indeed so dependence you can rewrite this as argmax theta of theta and the product of the probability of observing each sample except i given theta. So i is equal from 1 to n. So this is objective function for a maximum likelihood estimation. Next we're gonna uh, We're going to talk about the log likelihood function. So this is uh, pretty much the uh, same as a likelihood function. It's just you're taking a log of a likelihood function for computation simplicity. And then we're going to denote this uh, log likelihood function with a lowercase l of theta given the set d. And this is uh, you can rewrite this as a natural log of a likelihood function L theta given theta set D. This is as we uh, saw earlier, can be rewritten as the product of the probability of observing x sub i, each sample x sub i, given theta. And this is, uh, rewrite this as uh, the sum of the log probability of observing each sample x sub i, given theta. Summing up to uh, from 1 to n. So this is a log likelihood function, and we can try to optimize. We can try to get the argmax data of this product. Argmax of this uh, sum instead of uh, the product of a regular likelihood function. So, log logarithm function is a monotonically increasing function. So taking the log of uh, likelihood will get you the same answer for the maximum likelihood estimation of uh, theta.